Hello everyone and welcome. So when I'm working, you know, I'm just working, minding my own business, you know. Architect, architects, they come by and they just give me some set of plans, sections, and elevations. So I'm looking at the drawings, trying to figure out how to make this work, you know, the structure and so forth, how to how to model this. So usually when I'm when I'm starting a project, I go first and look at the elevations, uh, what or the heights from one level to another level. When I have that all said and done, then I start looking at the um, plans and I start putting my structural grid lines in my model so in this video what I'll be doing is just showing you guys how to do that how to put a structural grid line on plan here um, how to manipulate how to change you know numbers and whatnot in Revit so let's get started so we open up Revit you go to where it says structure you go where it says data click on grid you click on grid and you could pick anywhere you want Let's say I pick right here. You go, you pick, you have your grid line right there. Boom. Very easy. You have your grid line, you have your bubble one. Now, let's say you don't want your bubble at the end or at the bottom of the grid line. Let's say you don't want that. So you could just click on the structure grid line, and then there's a, a little box here, and there's a check mark on it. Now, right now it's showing. So if you want to hide that bubble, just click on it, and it's gone. Let's say you want to show it at the top. Boom. You can see that it's right there. And if you don't want to show it, if you want to hide it, again, you click on the box, uncheck it, and right now it's just a center line. Uh, it's a center line that you have. But let's say I want to show it that way. Boom. I have it like that. Now, there's many ways you could add other uh, gray lines. There's two ways that I prefer. One way is I like to right click on the uh, grid line, create similar. Then I hit where it says pick lines. I click on that and then I give an offset of whatever I need. So let's say I, I give an offset of uh, 30 feet. Then I hover over the grid line. Now, if I go towards the left, uh, or hover towards the left of the structure grid line, then you're going to see a dashed line on the left side of the screen. If you if you hover on the right side of the grid line, then the dashed lines will be on the right side. So let's say I want I want the grid line to be there. I just click, I left click, and boom, it's there. Now, as you can see, I have my bubble at the top. That my left grid line is at the top of the bubble. The right grid line, the bubble is at the bottom. I don't like that. I don't like how that looks. So again, you could just click, hit escape. You click on it, click on the grid line, and again, you could hide, and then show it up at the top now if you keep doing it, it's gonna keep showing at the bottom let's say you don't want that so you could actually edit the grid line as an annotation so you could uh, rename you could edit the, the grid line so let's say I go here I click on it go where it says properties edit type I click on it there's a bunch of stuff here that you see all right so here it says plan view symbols and to default I don't want the end to show the bubble. I want the top to have the bubble. So I just uncheck where it says pre plan view symbols end to. I uncheck that and you check the end one uh, plan view symbols. Click OK. So now what's going to happen is that if you create other, uh, other structure grid lines, it's going to show at the top. Uh, so I'm going to show you another way of, of creating another structure grid line. You could left click it, you could hit copy. Now make sure that where, where it says modify grids that you have multiple and constraint checked. Uh, if you do, then perfect. And I'll show you what happens if you don't. So you click on it, uh, you could type in a certain distance. So let's say I want 25 feet, write down 25, hit enter, and then boom. And as you can see, uh, the bubble now is at the top, not at the bottom, because we already, uh, in the properties tab, we made sure that it's going to show at the top. So you could enter a distance, you could click at a certain distance here, that you, it would, could be 28, click on it, and so forth. Now what happens is if you don't, if you don't have the multiple clicked or checked, if you don't have that and you're copying anything, what's going to happen is that you click on it, and then that's it, you're out of that command. So it's good and bad. I really don't use it. I like to have the multiple just because 
I like, I like to copy a lot of stuff, so it's easier that way. Now I want to have my horizontal uh, grid line. So to do that, again, we say structure, data, click on grid, uh, click anywhere, let's say over here, and boom, you have your horizontal structure grid line. Now I don't want this not to say six. I wanted to say the letter, the capital letter A. So uh, backspace, type in A, click somewhere out of the screen, and boom, you have it. And Rev is smart enough to know that this is A, and the next one is going to be B, C, D, E, and so forth. So let's let's do that. So let's copy. Let's make sure you click multiple. I'm just going to copy. I don't know. 28, 20. So as you can see, A, B, C, D, E, F, and so forth. And you go keep going. All right. So uh, I don't like how this look. So you could adjust the structure grid line. You could just click on one of the structure grid lines, and you could see there's a little a grip, and you could see there's a dash line. So if I click on the grip. I move that structure grid line, the other lines will also move, which is pretty cool. That's very convenient. Now, if you don't want that, you just, uh, I believe, I remember correctly, you click on the lock, I think, and it only moves one structure grid line. Let's put it back where it was. And now it, um, it let me see if that works. No, I don't want that. Think it locked by itself, so now I could come and move it. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, just throwing in some structural grid lines in Revit. Uh, thank you, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. And I hope you guys learn, and have a great day. Bye bye.